Here is a pig kidney. Um, this pig kidney, you can see, here's the kidney, and you can see there's sort of an in, indented region right here where we have these uh, tubes and structures attached. This indented region is the hilum, or sometimes called the hillus. These structures are, I'm holding the um, ureter. This is the structure that drains the urine from the kidney. And then here is um, the renal artery. It's a renal artery on the outside of the kidney. Um, and there's a little bit of a renal vein here too, not too visible. Now, at the hilum, we find the arteries entering, the veins leaving, and the uh, ureter leaving. So now I'm going to open this kidney up, and we'll look at some regions inside. There are three general regions that you need to be aware of. One is the cortex. The cortex extends from about here out. So this region right here is the cortex of the kidney, all the way around. On this side, there's a blue injection. On this side, there's a red injection. That's just the way they injected the latex into this kidney. Um, so here is the cortex. And then between the cortex and this space in here is what we call the medulla. So let me kind of run my probe around the medulla of the kidney right here. The medulla of the kidney is made up of renal pyramids, and here's one that's pretty easy to see. I'm going to outline it right here. Here is a renal pyramid. Here's another renal pyramid. Here's the apex of the pyramid. Here's kind of the base of it. So here's a renal pyramid. Here's a renal pyramid. Here's a renal pyramid. The medulla is made up of a bunch of renal pyramids. In between the renal pyramids are what are called renal columns. And within the renal columns, we find blood vessels. So here's a pyramid, here's a pyramid, here is a column with some blood vessels in it. Here's a pyramid, here's a pyramid, here is a renal column. Um, can't see it as well on this kidney, but the column is an extension of cortical tissue that extends between the two pyramids. In this region, we find the renal pelvis. This is space right here. Um, the renal pelvis is where the uh, urine uh, trickles down and joins, or uh, is stored here temporarily. The um, renal pelvis extends up into little passageways that um, actually drain the apex of the renal pyramid. So here's the apex, it's like a little nipple, and it is from that little nipple that the urine drains into the space. This little region that drains this one renal pyramid is called a calyx. This would be a minor calyx, here's a minor calyx, they come together and form a major calyx, and then they drain into the pelvis. Here's another calyx, here's another calyx. The calyx is the space that drains the urine. Um, look at this, and you can see an injection of yellow latex in the calyx. It kind of gives you a sense of the shape of the calyx, three-dimensional. I'm going to pop it out. There's the calyx. This is the latex that hasn't been injected into the calyx. And here is the calyx itself draining the apex of the renal pyramid. Within the dissected kidney, there are some important blood vessels that you need to be able to recognize, so let me point them out. Um, a blood vessel that is on the outside of the kidney is a renal kid is a renal either artery or vein. This particular one's pink, so it would be a renal artery. A blood vessel moving across the pelvis would be considered a segmental um, artery or vein. And you can get a hint of one there. It's not a very good one on this particular one. But if it's moving across the pelvis, it would be a segmental artery or vein. When the artery or vein is found in the renal column or in between the pyramids, that's called an, an interlobar vein. Here is another interlobar vein. Here we see an interlobar artery.
And here we see another interlobar artery. Once the blood has passed through the renal column, it arcs around the pyramid. And here is an example of that arcing blood vessel. That is called an arcuate, in this case artery, arcuate artery. The arcuate arteries supply the blood to the interlobular arteries, which are found here within the uh, cortex. They are um, grossly visible, meaning we can see them with our eyes. So all of these little pink lines here are interlobular arteries, and all of these little blue lines are interlobular veins.